Hey guys, Paradoxial here. Welcome back to a brand new video, everybody. This is part 9 of our how to uh, make a Discord bot in Python series. Uh, in this video, we are going to be making a mute and unmute command on top of a system that allows you to uh, set a mute role for your server and the bot will be able to uh, know what role you are wanting to give to the user. Doing that, uh, we're going to be using a JSON file to store. Now, ideally, like I said in my last video, for prefixes, uh, you might want to uh, use a database. So if you want to use a database, go right ahead. Um, but for the simplicity of this video, we are going to be sticking with JSON files. Excuse me. Anyways, uh, to get started, we obviously want to import JSON, just like we did in uh, our prefixes video. Now we want to make two events, just like in our prefixes video. They're going to be our, you guessed it, the um, on guild join and on guild remove uh, events. So um, yeah, so sync def on guild join, and we're on paths and guild. We're just going to write pass for now, and then we're going to copy that and change join here to remove. And then we're pretty much good for now, because now we got to make our JSON file. So I'm going to make it inside of my COGS file, but I'm also going to give it a separate directory. So inside the COGS file, I'm going to write JSON files and make that a new folder. And inside that new folder, I'm going to type in mutes.json. I want to do this because I want to show you guys how you can organize your code into a neat and clean of uh, directories and stuff. So it's going to be under cog slash json file slash then the file. So now that we create our json file, we're going to give it a set of curly braces and then we're going to go ahead and close the file. Now we actually need to write code into our events. So um, to get started, we're going to type in a, a width block. So width open. And then for me, it's stored under cogs, JSON files. So I want to type in cogs slash JSON files slash uh, mute dot JSON. I'm going to open it up in read mode. And I'm going to label it as F. And I'm going to type in JSON. All right, no, 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 beta. Or Crap, what did I mean? Mute roll, sorry. <laughs> Mute roll is equal to uh, json.load and an f. Not sure why I wanted to write data for a minute. I was working on another project earlier, so it's probably why. Still have that in my head at the moment. But, anyways, after that, uh, we are going to type in mute roll and then uh, string and then guild.id and we'll set it equal to none for now and then we're going to uh, write this again just right here and instead of read mode it's going to be in write mode and in uh, this block we're going to type in json.dump not do mode dump and then we'll type in mute row comma f comma indent and set that equal to 4 so it looks nice and neat in our file. After we have done that, we can go ahead and copy and paste this into our on guild leave. Except this time we're going to uh, just type in mute roll dot pop and then str for string and then guild dot id. So um, basically when the um, bot joins a server, it'll uh, take the server ID and set it equal to none for the role. I don't think you actually have to have this, but I mean, it is nice to have. So that way I can go ahead and um, like when you run the set mute command, it can go ahead and uh, actually set a role to the server. Anyways, we're done with our events now. Now we're going to uh, go into our mute cog because we will be working inside a cog today. Again, import JSON, like as if you did in your uh, main file. And then uh, first thing we're going to do is we're going to make our uh, set mute world, uh, command. So commands.command, then commands.as permissions. 
We want, um, I uh, assume just the owner or an administrator to actually have the permission to uh, set one. So, I, so we're going to type in administrator, set that equal to true. And then we can go ahead and make our uh, set new role command. So cell, ctx, and then roll it's clear dot full. And then uh, we're just going to copy and paste this here. Uh, better formatting, of course. There we go. And then uh, instead of guild.id, it needs to be ctx.guild.id. And instead of none, it's going to be role.name. And um, we can we can make an embed for this. Uh, I'm not gonna write one out. I'm just gonna copy and paste one that I have here because I'm lazy and I don't want to spend too much time doing it. Why didn't you copy and paste? There we go. So uh, there's our confirmation embed, just to say that we have uh, successfully set that role. Now let's get on to the um, mute and unmute commands. So again, commands dot command, and then commands dot as underscore permissions. Manage roles from set to true because um, makes sense. We're editing that user's role, so we want to make sure that the person muting them has that permission. Then it's saying that mute, again self, ctx, and then member, it's for dot member. Sick. Now, um, we can go ahead and uh, just copy this here and then add that in. Excuse me. And uh, after that, we actually, uh, I'm going to change this to roll, just to make it look a little bit better. And then mute roll, we are going to set equal to a uh, utility object. So we're going to set equal to discord.utilis.get. And then inside here, we're going to type in ctx.guild.roles. And then name, we're going to set it equal to role str ctx dot guild dot id so basically what this um uh, mute role variable is doing is it's uh getting the guild roles from the person's server that ran the command and it's looking for the name that matches um the name of the role stored in this uh, value so it's going to pull it from our JSON file here and after that uh, we can actually just go ahead and uh, I want to indent this here actually and then we can go ahead and type in await member dot add underscore roles mute role and um, if you want to add a confirmation role, uh, you can. <laughs> like I said, I'm not even going to just bother with that because it's too much time to make one. So I'm just going to copy and paste it from my personal bot. And um, just like that, uh, that's our mute command. So uh, we can actually uh, copy this. So I'm going to control C that. Or whoops. And for our unmute command, it's just the same thing, except a different method. So, min stop as missions manage roles equals true. And then a sync that unmute, not unmute, unmute. Self CX, and member. Discord member, just like that. And then we can go ahead and copy and paste this. Instead of add roles, it's going to be uh, remove roles. And then we can just make this uh, 
actually makes sense. So unmuted. And uh, yeah, I think this looks good. All right, so I think we're done here. Yeah, that's just about it. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, test my bot now. And I actually forgot to make a mute roll for my bot, but it's whatever. So I'm actually uh, going to look at my JSON file because I'm gonna have my bot. Uh, is this running? Okay, it just took a while here. So I'm gonna. There we go. No, 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 no. There we go. All right. I'm gonna invite this bot to my server real quick. So test server. And uh, if I go ahead and verify, it should add null to the mutes.json file. So come on. I apologize, guys. Uh, my connection has been really wonky lately. I'm not sure why. There we go. All right, so there's my guild ID. And uh, as you can see, null. So that's exactly what I wanted, but I actually have to set the role, so I'm going to create a mute role here, and um, I'm going to call it muted, and we'll make it blue so it stands out here. Let's make it hot pink. There we go. And uh, sure, I don't really care. All right. I think the, yeah, it's a role made now. Uh, roles, yep. Wait, no. You did. Let's make it blue. It's actually that. Is... The... Alright, there we go. I don't know what is up with Discord lately. It's been messed up. Alright, so, uh. Wait, no, this isn't a slash command. Whoops. <laughs> I'm messing up. So, prefix equals set mute roll. Now, I need to catch the roll ID. So, I'm gonna copy that. And it should work. Yep. Success. Mute role has been set. So that's exactly what I want. Now if I look in here, as you can see, it has the name of the role inside the server. Keep in mind, if you have two roles with the same name, this is going to uh, mess you up. So be sure not to have the same name role. Uh, just remember that. I don't even think you can have two roles with the same name. I'm not too sure. But uh, you shouldn't. That's really weird anyways. Now I'm going to mute uh, my bot here, my personal one, Beatbox. So if I go ahead and type in mute Beatbox, uh, it should mute him. Gave him the roll. Yep, so it muted Beatbox. And if I can go ahead and type in unmute. Now keep in mind this doesn't create the role for you, you need to already have the role created. And as you see, I removed the muted role from him. And we can tell because he is now white instead of blue. And obviously you might want to have uh, the permissions set for your mute role already. But as you can see, that does work. Now I wanted to show you the uh, on guild remove and what that does. So if I go ahead and uh, kick this bot, it should uh, remove it. Yeah, so it removes it from my file. Why is it still here? I don't know. <laughs> but anyways, uh, as you can see, it removes it from my file. That is basically uh, what it does. It just cleans the file up. So, um, yeah. Now, that is just about it for uh, this video. Um, that's basically how you make a mute and unmute command. Uh, they're fairly simple. Um... The only uh, difference is is that it uses a JSON file, so that way you can actually have a set mute role for your server instead of uh, creating one like most tutorials will have you do. This one is how you can use one that's already been created. But anywho, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, it helps me out a lot. And if you have uh, any problems with your code, uh, you can join my Discord server. Uh, I try to help out as many people as I can, and so do my staff. We work really hard uh, helping others out. 
And also, if you just want to hang out with us, yeah, feel free to join for that as well. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.